Welcome back to Learn SKN and today we have what we would deem part 2 of the release video. We have part 2 of the release video. Just as CXC had promised, they decided to drop the part 2 to the, the topics, the broad topics for the exams that are coming up in 2022. So they call it release 2.0. They released, re they released 1.0 recently, and so this one includes all the information in 1.0. They say all details from release 1.0 are included. And so things like agriculture and those things that we looked at last video, they would still hold true. So today we're going to look at Econ and POB, and we are going to see what topics they are stressing us to focus on for paper 2. Again, be reminded, paper 1 contains all topics. Just that paper two is going to show you which one they're going to delve deeper into. So please study all the topics, but be guided by the ones that you can dive deeper into for Econ and POB. So let's see what they have here now. So economics, they're saying that the topics that are going to be covered are nature of economics, demand and supply, market structure and market failure, economic management, policies and goals, Caribbean economies in a global environment. That's for paper two. For the 2022 exams for paper three they are going to cover the nature of economics the financial sector economic management policies and goals internal trade carbon economies in a global environment and so you realize that they are missing certain topics such as for paper two they do not cover the financial sector so we, we, we're not looking at, at the bank and money and those kind of things to go in depth with yes they're going to be on the multiple choice but not in depth for the paper two so the financial sector is out for paper two international trade is out for paper two so some of those you know comparative advantage all those things that's out and a very beefy one that i'm surprised is out is production so production is out for both paper two and paper three paper three also you can see that they have nothing to do with supply and demand in paper three either right no, the financial sector, well, yeah, it's right, the financial sector is right, and not on paper two. So, you look at these, and you'll be guided accordingly. So, if you're to just browse through the, 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 the syllabus right quick, we're looking at um, section nature of economics, so that you see what that entails. Right, that entails all of these topics that we would have started covering at first. So, we're looking at things like the production possibility frontier, the... Look at that description the main factors of, um, that affect decision making in economic agents such as the government and the household and firms these kind of things so that's it right there right so you have defined economics the branches the meaning of the economy um economic agents all those things are covered in nature of economics and then like i said the left of production so all of this content here we don't have to worry about for the paper two again for paper one, they're going to browse over some of them. So you have to know certain things, like the factor of production. You have to know these things, right? Then we're looking at, let's see, section three, demand and supply is going to be there. So make sure you know all of your, your, your demand curve, supply curve, equilibrium, price, equilibrium quantity, how to draw them, how to interpret them, that kind of thing, right? So you have to know your diagrams, know to label them, know about the shift versus the movement, the factors affecting demand and supply, all those things. So make sure you know all of them. You have the elasticities of supply right there, cross elasticity, income elasticity, etc. Then they say market structure that is also covered. So you have to learn your monopoly, perfect competition, oligopoly, monopolistic competition. You have to know the barriers. You have to know the characteristics of each. You have to know to compare and contrast these different uh, market structures. You know, buyer number of buyers, number of sellers the type of good whether it is homogeneous or whether it is differentiated these are things you have to go in depth with you have to look at uh employment unemployment uh well the consequences of market failure what is market failure those kind of things like you have to look at your now you have to look at your positive and negative externalities you have to look at your um your, your different type of goods you know the public good those things because those are part of market failure all these things you have to look at for that topic market failure the financial sector is out for paper two but it is in for paper three so paper three you still have to cover those things the financial sector you look at you have to look at your you have to look at your money um functions of money the 
characteristics of money, central bank, all those things. Different paying instruments, broad money, narrow money, money base. You have to look at those things still. Uh, economic management and policies, of course, that one is in. And so you have to look at your the role of the government. You have to look at the, learn to define these things. You know, fiscal deficit, national income, GDP, those things. Inflation, you have to know what GDP is, what is GNP, the circular flow diagram, the injections versus the withdrawals. Learn to draw the diagrams matching those things. And of course, we have videos matching most of these things on the channel. So use the channel to, you know, understand further. So those are, and, and really six is very involved. It's a very long, long section, right? That's one of the longest sections in the book, in the syllabus. International trade is not covered on paper two, but it is covered on paper three, as you can see here. Right, so make sure you know for paper three, make sure you know all of these things a the comparative advantage, absolute advantage, the current, um, your balance of trade, the deficits, how you correct them, those kind of things. Right, you have to know these things. And then we have Caribbean economies in a global environment, so you have to know about these the, the, the different bodies that that uh, exist in the Caribbean, you CSME, you CARICOM. All those things you have to learn and understand. You have to see how they can affect certain things in the Caribbean. So you have to cover those things in in the global, the Caribbean economies and the global environment, as you can see here. Paper three also. So look at it. Of course, I'll put the link for this document in the description. But you can also go on CX's website and get it. So now let's look at POB now. I think it's a little more straightforward as to what's in. And what is out right a little bit more straightforward for pob so remember is all the subjects are covered so go and look at your other subjects and compare them in this channel we're only dealing with uh our normal what we do mostly on the channel right so if you look at pob here where is it uh pob hold up hold up Oh, I think I, I went I went I went past it. Hold on, let me go back. Right? Okay, here we go. POB. And so if you look at the topics, they're saying we are covering section three, four, five, seven, and ten. Very straightforward. So they, they actually line them up with how they are in the syllabus. So for paper two, we are covering establishing a business, legal aspects as your contracts and insurance and those things. We are looking at production. So you know, you have to learn the factors of production those things logistics and supply chain i have a feeling this is going to be a, a prominent topic in a lot of years to come because that's the newest topic in the syllabus so make sure you are familiar with that one and of course technology and the global business environment for paper three that's normally our, our case study and so they broke it down here for you they're going to look at the section a the operational um, plan section b marketing plan and section c financial plan so let's see what we're talking about for section for section three. So section three is about establishing a business. And so you know what that entails, right? Establishing a business, we're looking at reasons for starting a business. We're looking at all of the all of what you have to go through to start that business. Right? So they got, so they skip out one, they skip out two, one and two, and they're jumping in at three for paper two. Right, so let's see what um, three is about. So for establishing a business, we're looking at define the term entrepreneur, explain the function of an entrepreneur, characteristics of a typical entrepreneur. So you have to know these things. The role of the entrepreneur in the decision-making process. You're looking at the outline the role of the entrepreneur in economic development. Right, reasons why you might want to start your own business, steps in starting your own business. You're looking at the from conception all the way to operation. Identify reasons for preparing a business plan. So you have to dig deep into the business plan also and describe the, ele yeah, describe the elements of the business plan. And you see this section is real broad, right? It's real broad. We're looking at planning, we're looking at feasibility study. So it's a real broad section indeed. So you have your work cut out for you as it relates to those things. Then we have section four, again, a very sweet topic, legal aspects of the business. Always a nice topic to have. And so we're looking at contracts. We're looking at, you know, types of contracts. Character, uh, what makes a uh, specialty contract, simple contract. What are the components of a contract? Then we're looking at insurance, principles of insurance. 
and all those things. Right? It can be very meaty when you get down to it. This section in particular. Section 5, production. Again, a very meaty section. Looking at backward linkages, forward linkages, factors of production. Right? You differentiate the levels of production, type of productions. We're looking at subsistence, domestic, surplus, all those things. We're looking at what is a cottage industry, what is a, a, a whole house, um, a small business, what happens when the business starts growing. These are the things we're looking at. Advantages of disadvantage of a small versus a large business. So this is what we have to look at when we're looking at this particular section of production. Again, can be very meaty as a topic. Now, a very juicy one that I left out, marketing, right? I'm kind of shocked that I left out marketing. Marketing is nice and sweet, but hey, it's not there. So we can make any noise about that. So we jump back, jump to seven, right? Look at seven, which is, of course, the newest kid on the block. We're looking at logistics and supply chain. And so you have to delve deep into this one. Guarantee you're going to bring some, something on that one for sure, for sure, for sure, right? So... You have to look at your, your distribution channels. You have to look at what logistics, what it is, advantages, disadvantages, um, transportation. So let's go to your syllabus and the notes and the videos and you'll be fine. You will be fine as it relates to these topics. And, and then you have, of course, the last one, technology and the global business. So let's skip out eight for paper two and nine and then jump to ten. And so this is a very... Well, most of y'all are modern persons, so technology should not be an issue for you guys. And so I'm, I know that you'll be fine on the question relating to technology. All right. So this is right here. ICT, advantages, examples, practices of ICT, those kind of things. Again, we have done papers on these topics. So use the channel to get yourself a nice, lovely grade one. All right, so that's it for this video. So as I said, CX to drop their topics. I looked through those for POB and Econ. And so you can just jump to the description or go to the channel, go to their website, download the PDF, scroll through it, make sure you know what you're doing. Again, can't stress this enough. Make sure you cover all the topics in the syllabus for paper one, but focus on the ones that they say you can go deeper into for paper two and three. Right? That's my advice. But study everything. Study everything. Alright? So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And all the best on your upcoming exams. I think they're kicking off in roughly what? Uh, a week. You have about two weeks remaining. And then the kickoff. So, all the best on those. I'll continue to upload any, any uh, past papers I might come across. And we'll see how we reach with that one. So, that's it for now.